When listing variations of items that you already have insured on, you first want to search for exactly what you're looking for. The first thing you see is a parent item because it doesn't have the variation SKUs under it. And you can tell that these two are attached to Lugger by seeing the GUID, the Global Unique Identifier. So in order to export out just the information we need for this, I'm going to go to Products and Export. From here, I will perform the same search, select Products, and Include. What Mode Include is for is so that we can include the fields that are necessary over here. In this case, we're only going to select SKU and GUID, and then I'll click Export Results. Once it's finished, it'll email you, but in addition, it'll be right down here at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and click Download. And now you'll see the SKU, the GUID, and I'm going to go ahead and insert a column. But as you can see, there's always going to be a SKU matching the GUID, and then the GUIDs will vary by the size and the color in this instance. So what we're going to type here first is action equals relist. Now in this case, this is only so you can see the differences here. We don't absolutely need SKU, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. I just wanted to show you that the SKU and the GUID would match, and the top one is the one that has to be matching. So if this was reversed and Lugger was on the bottom, it would not properly be able to list. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And whenever I save it, I'm going to save it as a comma separated value. And as I get back over here into shirt on, I'm going to go to uploads. You can also get there by going to products, bulk uploads. Now after I select Lugger relist, the main thing you must do on a variation is skip all channels. And after you skip all channels, you'll be able to upload it and make these items active. By default, the automation will import the items as a start function or a disabled function. So they must be activated first before you can actually list them. So that's what action equals relist skip all channels does is it activates them. Now prior to moving on, we want to check this results file so that we ensure that everything went through correctly. So once you see the results file, download is here, I'm going to click that. And as you can see here, we have action equals relist and sync skip, meaning that we have skipped all channels. So what we see here is the GUID is a success on, on all of these. Now in the case that you see failure, but then the children show success, this would definitely result in these items being able to be listed individually, but not as a variation if the parent item is a failure for being able to be updated. So if that's the case, need to troubleshoot why this is not able to be activated. Now that we see that is correct, what we're going to do is take that initial file, and with this file, we're just going to list the parent GUID. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and save this down. Now we're going to upload this separate file, Lugger Relist 2. And this time we're not skipping any channels, we're just going to click Upload. Now currently we are uploading just the parent GUID and once this is finished we should see the variation of the three on eBay. Now that we see the results file is in for the parent GUID upload, I'm going to go ahead and download this just to check the results. What I see here is that the relist of Lugger was a success, so I want to check the actual listing within SureDone. When I do the search for Clark's Lugger, it pulls up all variations here. We have the parent and the two children, and it does show the same eBay ID for all of them. So now I want to check out the actual eBay listing itself. Once I jump in here, the first thing I see is size, color, and also in addition, I do see that the strike through pricing is on. Scrolling down, it shows the entire template that we have uploaded within Sheridan.